As I promised you, today I am back with my part two video of multiplication by nines. And I'm sure you do not want to miss this because you will learn an amazing strategy on how to solve some really tricky math problems. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Welcome back on NP Station. So how about we recap on what we did in our previous video. So what we did is we multiplied the same amount of digits to the same number of nines. For example, we did 28 multiplied by double nine. And our first step would be we have to subtract 28 minus one, and that would be 27. And then our second step is we have to apply the rule, which is we have to subtract all numbers from 9 and the last from 10. So 9 minus 2 would be 7, and 10 minus 8 would be 2. And this is our product, 2,772. How about we do another one? How about we do 509 multiplied by triple 9? So first, we have to do 509 minus 1, and that would be 508. And then we would have to do um, apply the rule, and that would be 9 minus 5, and that would be 4. 9 minus 0, and that would be 9. And 10 minus 9, and that would be 1. So this is our product, 508,491. So this is what we did in our previous video. So today, we're going to learn how to like multiply like a three digit number multiplied by four nines, or a four digit number multiplied by three nines. So let's get right into it. So now we have four problems here, and our first one is to do 25 multiplied by triple nine. And our first step is, is we have to equalize the number of digits to the number of nines. So that's pretty simple. All we have to do is add a zero right in front of 25. So now step um, two is pretty simple too. All we have to do is do the same steps as trick number one. So that would be to subtract 25 minus one. And that would be 24. And then now we have to apply the rule, which is subtracting all from nine and the last from 10. So nine minus zero, that is 9, 9 minus 2, that is 7, and 10 minus 5, and that is 5. So this is our product, 24,975. And that's pretty simple. So our next step, our next problem is to do 438 multiplied by double nine, double nine. So our first step is we have to equalize the number of digits to the number of nines. So let's add that zero. Now we have to do the same um, steps as trick number one. So let, um, we're gonna do 438 minus one. And that would be 437. And then we have to do all from nine and the last from 10. So nine minus zero, that is nine. Nine minus four, that is five. Nine minus three, which is six. And last one from 10, which is 10 minus eight, and that is two. And guess what? This is our product, and which is 4379562. So in these two problems, we have to multiply a bigger number of digits by a less amount of nines. So the first one is to do 284 multiplied by 99. So the first step is we have to identify which base is closest to the number of nines, which that would be 100. So in 100, there are two zeros. So what we have to do is add two zeros after 284, just like this. So and add the two zeros. Now we have to subtract 284 from this number. So I'm gonna write it just below. And now let's get into the subtracting. So let's do 10, 10 minus four and that's six. And nine minus, eight and that's one. Three minus two, which is one. Eight remains the same and two remains the same. And this is our product, 28,116. 
So our last problem in today's video is to do 672 times 99. So our first step is, is we have to identify which base is closer to the number of nines. And in this problem, it is the um, same as this one, which is 100. So now we have to add two zeros after 672. So let's write it like this. So we added the two zeros. Now we have to subtract 672 from this number. Just like so. So let's subtract now, and now we're going to do 10 minus two, which is eight, and nine minus seven, which is two, and then 11 minus six, which is five, and six minus um, zero, which is six, and six minus zero, which is six. And this is our product, and it is 66,528. And I'm, um, so what we did in these last two problems is we converted a multiplication problem into a subtraction problem. And isn't that so cool? And I'm sure that subtraction is way easier than multiplication for all of us here. So I'm, um, I really recommend you guys to use this strategy if you want to solve any number of digits multiplied by nine, because it is much more quicker than the traditional way. I hope you guys enjoy this math video, and please stay tuned on NP Station for a next upcoming video of some more math tricks. And you have, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share with all of your friends. And have a good weekend.